New groups of people in Ohio are eligible to receive the coronavirus vaccine. And Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose brings us the story tonight from a vaccine clinic in Van Wert. It's stressful, it's crazy, it's every day is different. Thursday, Van Wert County's health department hosted a walk-in coronavirus vaccine clinic for Ohioans who qualify for the shots. It can be a bit chaotic. We were getting hundreds of phone calls a day and hundreds of, mess hundreds of messages a day and it was very difficult to keep up. As an administrator with the Van Wert County Health Department, Britt Menchhofer says the small office staff struggled to call back thousands of residents who'd said they wanted the vaccine. She says because Ohio does not have a statewide vaccine appointment registration program, it's been every Ohio county for itself, so Van Wert transitioned to a walk-in format. Did you have any issues from the first vaccine at all? No, little sore, which is to be expected. It'll be a little sore after this one as well. As of Thursday, Ohioans working in child care, funeral services, law enforcement, and as corrections officers, and Buckeyes 60 and older are now eligible, as well as pregnant women and people with type 1 diabetes or who've had bone marrow transplants or ALS. Patients we talked to said they like the way Ohio's approached the vaccine rollout. I mean, for me, it's been okay, but I've heard some that are in my age group that are getting bypassed, so I, I don't know. But for me, it was okay. I went to work every day during the lockdown. And I was exposed, and I worked with children all day throughout my work day. So I want to keep them safe as well as myself safe, you know, by getting the vaccine and also my parents and loved ones. So I thought uh, I don't want to bring anything home, and I also don't want to bring anything to work. So when they offered up the vaccine, I was like, all right. I'm on it. Menchofer says nurses are administering the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine doses as quickly as they can and says they expect to get some Johnson & Johnson shots soon. If you live in Ohio and have questions about the coronavirus vaccine, you can call your local health department or Council on Aging. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.